Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I want to share this real quick. This will be a short one. Don't complain. Comply. The reason I say that is because sometimes when we go through stuff and it's inconvenient, it's uncomfortable, it's a, a first-time experience, it's something new, we don't like it, it's different, but it's not a good different, and it just feels like we're being uh, punished or penalized, we're being cheated. Um, there are times when God takes away in order to give. I'm trying not to get emotional because I'm talking from experience. My fourth time in the hospital, I forgot to share this with you. They had to take that long needle back out and stick it in my lungs. Even though I was there for AFib, my lungs had accumulated fluid all over again. And I was short-winded along with the AFib. 170 beats a minute. And the AFib, um, the lungs were filled with fluid as well, both. So when they got through drawing, but one lung had a lot more than the other. The other just had like maybe a little smidgen at the bottom. But my, my left lung was really kicking up a storm. And they almost took out, a, it was over a liter and a half. No, I think so. Almost a liter and a half, or pint and a half. It was something, it was a lot of fluid, whatever it was. So many times we're getting the numbers mixed up. But I'm telling you, that was the hardest for me. Because I actually was ready to say, no more procedures, just let me die. That's how much that procedure hurt. And I asked the nurse to find out if the hospital had hospice anywhere on the floor so I could talk to them about how to make me comfortable so I could die as peacefully and comfortably as possible. That's how much I didn't want to go through that procedure anymore. Sometimes we don't want to go through what we have to go through. Sometimes we hate it. We dread it. Oh, but let me tell you this. God was so tender with me this last time that they had, uh, I forget what his uh, title was, but it was something that he did all day long every day. That's what he did. And he came in and I ex emphasized to them what a big baby I was and how hard it was for me to deal with that pain of, you know, the needle touching my lung. And if they could just do everything as slowly as possible in little increments, please make it easier on me. And they did just that. That doctor, he gave me all kind of, of numbing. I mean, he worked it and worked it. He took his time. And when he got in there, it hurt. But it didn't hurt nowhere near as much as it did the other times. When he got through, his technician was the one to pull it out. And she had to ease that needle out after the drainage was done. And I was afraid because it hurts just as bad going out as it does coming in. I was afraid I was going to be screaming their ears off again. But they, I didn't. She just inched it and inched it and inched it. And I, oh, oh, oh. But it wasn't that long pain that, that oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope I never go through that again, you guys. But I didn't complain. I complied. I put it off a day because I just couldn't face it. There was one day I just could not face having the procedure done until they started telling me how your lungs can collapse from having too much fluid. And I certainly did not want that. So I finally, I prayed that God would give me a sign that he wanted this procedure done. And this was my sign. You can hold them up like you did yesterday. So they can't get to me because they're too busy. Then I'll leave it alone. Or if you want me to have the procedure, let them all be there with bells on their toes. 
and I'll trust that that was you doing it, saying that I should have it. They were all there with bells on their toes in plenty of time, and I was not a happy camper, but I didn't complain. I just had to. I mean, I cried that first day. I cried half the day. That's how much I dreaded having the procedure done. And God was so tender with me the next day that he brought the most uh, patient uh, technicians and, and I forget what you call them. And all of them were just so gentle. They were so gentle, way more than they would normally be. And I know that because they don't have time to baby everybody. But they were very gentle with me. And that was my last procedure. Thank God. So all I can say is God knows how much you can take and he knows what you can't take. And he will bless. He will bless you according to your individual needs and limitations. He knows you. He loves you. Trust that God will handle you with kid gloves if you're a big baby like me. Okay? God bless you.